Hello and welcome to a session of Fit Essentials. My name is Shauna. I'll be guiding you through class. We'll have the option to use the short TheraBands if you want for some glute bridges in our first circuit. Let's go ahead and come on up to your feet. Walk the feet just in front of the hips. Uh, let me know if you can't see me. I'm trying to have a little bit of shade here. Spinal cord breathing, forearms and palms together, chin to the chest, tuck the hips under. We're gonna breathe in as we open, breathe in and lift, divide the arms, pull the shoulder blades back and down, engage those glutes as you open the front side of the body. Pausing the top and then exhale, fold it all back down. Anywhere so between three and five of these cycles, breathe and open. Pull the shoulder blades down the back on that ex inhale and then exhale, rounding into a ball. Warming up that spinal cord, vertebra. Oh, maybe one more. On that final exhale, go ahead and release the arms, walk the feet out just a little bit wider, and we're gonna go into a side stretch. One hand on the hip, opposite hand, turn the palm up towards the ceiling or sky as you reach up. Follow your hand with your gaze, breathing for one or two breaths at the top and then down and switch. We're going to go twice to each side, palm up, reaching across, peering up, lifting up out of the torso on those inhales. Exhale and switch. One more time each side, hand on the hip for support, up and across. You can reach a little bit farther on that second time and down and switch. Very good. After you've gone twice on each arm with this side stretch, we're gonna go into a behind the back stretch next. Kind of shake out those arms, reset those feet, chest nice and tall. We're gonna interlace the hands behind, extend the arms. You're gonna root down to those legs, send the hips back, pull those arms up and over. Pull that chin in towards the chest. And again, sending the air, sending your breath where you feel the tension. Nice smooth exhale, maybe drop a little bit farther, holding strong in the legs. After that last one, go ahead and start to come on up, tuck the hips under and release those arms. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make our way down to the floor, coming down to all fours. All right, we're gonna go forearm stretch when we first get down here, palms down, fingers point in towards you and you're just gonna gently sit back and rock side to side. to point around through the mid body as you do this holding that midline strong after a few times back and forth there walk the hands in so that the fingers interlace and circle circle your torso around rotating through and the fingers spread out nice and wide after two to three times there take it the other direction circling around the other way very good go ahead and come on up off those wrists into a kneeling position shake them out and just roll them around. Fantastic. Next, we're gonna take it back down, opening that mid back just a little bit with a cat cow, cat Campbell, whatever you prefer. Hands with the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. On the inhale, you're gonna lift the head up, pulling the shoulders back and down. And then on the exhale, pull the belly button in, drop the head down. Go about three to five cycles here on your own. Watch you not over arch the back as you breathe in and look up. We're gonna lift up through that mid, right between the shoulder blades on that exhale. Good, one to two more. When you finish those, toes together, knees divide, let's take it back into child's position. Reach those arms long, drop the head down. And again, still Sending that air now into the new spot that you feel the tension. So for me, it's on the lateral portion of the rib cage. Right where those arms come in and attach the lats. A couple more breaths here. And release. Very good. Nice wide handprint as you walk the hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to go ahead and turn the toes under, driving the hips high, taking it back into down dog. Pull the chin in towards the chest. You pulse this through the mid back, and then now we'll give some attention to the heels, walking out those heels to stretch the calves. 
Very good. A few times back and forth there. And then when you're ready, we're gonna take a nice big step forward with your left foot. So as big as you can, stepping it forward, try to get it by that left hand, heel down, come forward on this one, and shin vertical. Okay. From here, right knee will come down to the floor and we're gonna come up into a lunge. So keep that front foot planted, interlace the hands, come on up, lifting up out of those hips. You're gonna slide those hips forward, shift them back and translate them forward. Eyes up, chest up, and now you're going to rotate towards your front leg. So rotate over towards your left side. Unwind, a couple more there, rotate over, back to neutral. Last one, and release those arms down. Very good. Take that left elbow on the inside of the left knee. We're going to slide it down the shin, hover by the instep. This is uncomfortable. You can use a pillow or a yoga block here to lean onto or support on. Very good. From here, we're gonna get some rotations through the mid body. You're gonna take your left hand, walk the fingers underneath your right arm, and you're gonna lift up out of that right shoulder as you rotate back. Follow that left hand with your gaze. You go three times on this arm, walking under each time, taking your time to find that in position, rotating back. Try to breathe in as you reach, crawl the hands under, and a nice, long, smooth exhale as you rotate. Very nice. Same thing, opposite arm. This time your right hand is gonna walk underneath that left leg and then we'll rotate out from here. Again, if this is uncomfortable, put a block underneath your left hand. Three times there, falling under, lifting up, rotate through. Final one. Very good. Once you finish those three rotations, go ahead and place both hands down besides the feet, beside the feet, take that right knee back off the ground. And now we're gonna circle through that left hip. Three to five circles here from this uh, mountain climber or plank position. After three to five in one direction, go ahead and switch the direction of that swivel, opening up the hip the other way. All right, once you finish those circles, nice big step back into down dog. Go ahead and open up that mid back once again, give it a little bit more attention to the calves, walking out the heels. And then as you, you might guess, we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So when you're ready, this time your right leg, gonna take a nice long step forward, trying to get that right foot as close as you can to the right hand. From here, once you get that shin vertical heel flat, bring that left knee back down and come up into a lunge. Stand tall, sit tall, interlace the hands, stretching up, lifting up out of that hip. And now we're gonna gently rock the hips forward, keeping your front foot firmly planted. Heel down, shin vertical, and squeeze the glute of that trail leg. So squeeze that glute on your left side and now rotate towards your right. Shift back, breathe in, lift, shift forward and rotate. Good job, once more there, standing tall, Open up those hip flexors, which we've spent some time sitting today, and go ahead and release those arms down. Fantastic, grab that yoga block if you need it. Elbow on the inside of the knee, slide down that chin, cover by the instep to start. Invite that outer right hip to open. And then when you're ready, we'll add the mid back rotations. Your right hand walks underneath that left arm, lifting up out of that left, rotate, follow with the gaze three times each arm. Looking to exhale as you open, get as much air as you comfortably can out of your lungs, get a little bit more of that rotation. After three, switching arms. Your left hand reaches underneath the right leg. Lift up, rotate through. Very nice. Very good, take your time, finish those three cycles on each arm. When you're ready, you'll lift up your back knee, both hands underneath the shoulders, and now we'll swivel through the hip on the right. Three to five circles the one direction and three to five the other way. Beautiful, go ahead and step that leg back one final time into down dog for this warm up series. <clears throat> and then feel free, come on down and give it a break. Feel free to grab a drink. We're gonna get ready for our first circuit. 
I'm just going to go two rounds here with some glute activation and core work, as well as warming up to the upper body for some push ups. So we're going to take 60 seconds. We're going to be doing a side plank roll. You'll start on one arm and then trying to keep your hips and shoulders as square as you can. You'll roll to the other side. If you don't quite feel stable in your side planks to move from one arm to the other, we'll just go 20 to 30 seconds on each arm. I'll do the best I can to give you a time break. So at 30 seconds, you'll switch sides. Otherwise, if you're building that confidence in the side plank, feel like you're ready to do those rolls, go ahead and follow along with me. From there, we'll shake it out and go into some push-ups. Then we'll take it onto our back for a glute bridge. That's where if you wanna utilize your band, you can. Let's have a real quick stretch before we cycle back through one more time. All right. So with that said, we're gonna start here in about 15 seconds. You're gonna come onto the side of your body. Pick a side you wanna start on for that side plank. So you're gonna bring the elbow right underneath the shoulder. When you're ready, you'll come up, preferably on the toes, and then we're trying to move the hips and shoulders at the same time as you take it to the opposite side. Come all the way to that side plank, stack the hips and shoulders before you look to take it back. So focused on control of our movement here, not so much speed of the movement. Good. There's our first 20 seconds. Lifting up, rotating through. We have a full minute here on these rotations or 20 to 30 seconds on each side. There's our 30. Very good. Really be deliberate about how you move your body. Trying to not let that shoulder get ahead of the hip. Beautiful. That's 40 seconds. Everything moving in sync. Hold that nice solid bridge through the torso as you roll across. Beautiful. 50 seconds down. 10 to go. Tracing that midline. Two, one, and rest. Fantastic. Coming into some push ups next. Feel free to go into an elevated surface as you need. I'm going to demo off the knees on the first round. So, nice wide handprint with those hands right underneath the shoulders. Shoulders back and down. And when you're ready, making sure that midline stays nice and tight. Ideally, you want to go chest all the way to the floor, elbows relatively into the side. We're avoiding that winging wide position of the elbows. As you push off the ground, midline. If you're ready for an intermediate challenge, come down on the toes and then up on the knees. What we want to avoid coming off the floor is that like worming position where you drop the hips and arch the back. So if you're coming off the toes, stay tight. Engage that lower body as much as that upper body. And two, one, and rest. Nice job. Rolling onto your back, feel free to grab the band for the glute bridge. Use that band, you can put it just above the knees, bottom of the thighs. Shoulders back and down, bend the knees, feet flat. And when you're ready, it's nice and gradual here to start. Don't feel like you have to prove anything on that first rep. Just gradually waking up that low back, front of the hips. Nice and smooth, controlling the spine down, rocking the hips back, gently pushing those hips up and forward while I'm trying to lengthen through the low back. Squeeze the glutes. Get as much of the muscle tissue of that backside to engage. And it's great practice to pause in the top. So holding for two, three seconds, driving the knees wide against the band if you have it. Very good. There's our halfway, everyone. Got a full minute here. The higher you get the hips, the more you want to start to give some attention to the upper body and the head, pulling the chin in towards the chest, lengthen the back of the neck. Very good. Go ahead and relax the eyes closed. We've got about 15 seconds to go here. Very nice. And three, two, one. Go ahead and rest. It's a little double knee to chest. Great time to slide the band back off the legs, hug the knees into the chest, and gently rock yourself side to side. All right, that concludes round one. We're gonna do that one more time through, starting back with the side plank or side plank roll. We'll get going here in about 10 seconds. So when you're ready, make sure you set that elbow in a good position. And three, two, one, come on up. So if that roll felt like you weren't very stable there, please just hold this regular side plank. Otherwise, 
trying to move your body like a board. Everything connected, everything moving in sync. Very good. Let's suck them through. That's our first 20 seconds. I'll try to give you every 10 from here. Continue to breathe as you keep those hips lifted. Very good. Just over 30 seconds in. If you're holding that static pull, make sure you swing it around. Same thing, other side. Nice. Very good. 50 seconds done. Lifting up, controlling through. And three, two, one, and rest. Fantastic. Come off those arms for a moment. Shake it out. Push-ups are next. Either on the knees, on the toes, or elevate the upper body if you don't hold good form there. Nice wide hand prints. Two, one. When you're ready, again, that in between, you can come down on the toes, up on the knees. You are coming up on the toes. No sinking of the hips. I'm squeezing the glutes, engaging my thighs as much as I'm pushing through that upper body. Good, shoulders back and down, opening that chest. Looks great, beautiful push-ups, everyone. There you go, nice. Looking straight down with the head, holding that head neutral. And two, one, and rest. Awesome. Glute bridge next. If you want to elevate the feet up on a surface, feel free. I'm gonna go ahead and stay down on the floor for today's. Option of the band. And if you wanna move a little bit faster than last round, if your back's starting to feel a lot warmer, please feel free. All right, three, two, one. We got a minute of these. We're focused on the glutes, but you also wanna think about like your whole, all the muscles of your lower abdomen pelvic floor, kind of clenching them at the top, but try not to hold the breath as you engage those muscles. So just squeeze, imagine if you were trying to stop your strain of urine, the muscles you would engage for that. Maybe you can engage those without like holding the breath, just kind of learning how to wake up all those different muscles down there. Fantastic, just over halfway, 30 seconds to go. We're focusing to stay long through the low back. You're going to drive the knees wide. Very good. We're going to go another 15 seconds here. A little off of my timing. So these last couple, let's hold for upwards of five seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one, I'm gonna relax that down. If you'd like to join me, we're gonna go up for one final one. We'll go a little bit over that minute. Pulling that chin in, driving the knees out and hold. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Fantastic, gonna bring those hips back down. And keep that band on the legs for the moment if you'd like. Knees up and together at 90, two knee twist, bringing the legs to one side, looking over the opposite shoulder. Fantastic, up and across, same thing other way. All right, we're gonna get ready for our main part of the workout next. Get some upper body work with some dips. If you don't have a position to do dips with, you can stick with another round of uh, push-ups. Go ahead and take that band off, let's stretch out the hips. Figure four, right foot on the left thigh, hug that leg in. So we'll go dips to a kettlebell swing or a kettlebell deadlift. You can also swing some lighter dumbbells. Be moderate about those weights. From there, we take it down to the floor for some planks or plank shoulder taps. That'd be a front plank if you hold there or the plank taps. And then we're gonna roll it over onto our back, working that lower core for some hollows or some tuck ups. Go ahead and release that figure four, same thing, other leg. Cross the foot over and hug that leg in. We'll have about 30 seconds to rest after that fourth exercise, the hollow body. Otherwise, we've got 10 seconds in between movements, 30 seconds of work with each movement. We're going to go four rounds total, just about 12 minutes. 
All right, very good. Go ahead and release that figure four. Go ahead and take it onto your side. We're gonna stretch our quads out before we jump up to our feet. So pull that elbow in underneath the shoulder. Extend the bottom leg, grab the foot on the top. About 20 seconds each, each side here. So set the shoulder blade back and down as well so we're not rounded forward. Ah, nice work everyone. Great to see Sharon outside today. All right, two, one, release that foot, swing it around. Pull that elbow in, grab that top leg. We don't have any squatting going on today. Uh, we did a decent amount if you were in classes yesterday, but if you prefer some squats instead of the kettlebell swing, that would be a great place to sub. Or if you wanna give your upper body a break, you don't wanna do those dips, you could squat first and then do the kettlebell swings or the deadlift. Three, two, one, and release that side. All right, going to make your way on up. We're going to grab some water, do a couple toe touches before we jump into that circuit. All right, so let's first.